So I've had migraines my entire life. Like when I was a kid, my mom thought I sat in front of the TV too close, which caused it. I've gone, I went to eye doctors. They didn't know what was going on because it's you know, weird for a kid to have migraines. Uh, but when it really came to interfere with my life in a big way is when I turned 27. Uh, that year, uh, I went from having migraines that were just like inconvenient to all of a sudden now it was impacting my life. Got a neurologist, all that kind of stuff. I've known Carlos for about 18 years. When we first met, we were, we were friends for many, many years, and I knew he had migraines. Um, but they were, uh, from my perspective, a mild inconvenience. Um, you know, there'd be days where we have like a game day planned and he'd call and say, oh, I can't make it, I have a migraine. When we got married, he started having more and more migraines um, to the point where it got to once every other day or every third day consistently. Um, it, it became debilitating very quickly. Uh, so you're considered disabled if you have 15 migraines a month. In those 15, it's like non-working, like you can't work because your pain's so bad. So in 2020, my pain level got to, I was having a migraine at a strength of about 6.7, uh, 87 out of 90 days, which is beyond, like my, my neurologist is like, you are severely disabled. 2020, uh, they had a breakthrough. They finally understood what was causing my migraines. Uh, calcitin gene-related peptides were being released uh, from the places they're supposed to be released from, but my body wasn't treating it correctly. So it's great, they, they, they understand what's going on. He was diagnosed with a condition that is, um, was recently even discovered but is not able to be cured. They can manage it with medications. And what would happen is he'd try a new medication and for six months to a year it would work and then it would stop working. So then we'd try the next one and the next one. And as we went up, it got more and more expensive. I had gained a immunity to the drug. So although it was working at the time, it went, I went from 89 or 87 migraines in 90, uh, in 90 days to down to, and it, this is still considered disabled, but 15. I'd, I'd actually gotten down to 15 migraines in a month. It was amazing. And I was like, this is a blessing from God. My life turned around, it was awesome. Uh, but now I was told in January that I had three more months and the medication was wearing off anyway. It wasn't gonna, didn't look like it would work. So I didn't know what was gonna happen. We have seen his miracles in our life. Absolutely, absolute miracles. But healing? Healing of my migraines I've had my entire life? Something else was gonna happen. But not healing, not healing. I have prayed for Carlos to be healed and many, many people have prayed for Carlos to be healed for years. I, I really thought that he had learned how to live with it and accepted it and God was like, okay, you're gonna live with the thorn in your side like Paul had. Um, so I, I just assumed that that was his story and that he would be healed, but not in this life. March of 2023, he went to man camp, which is a really cool thing for guys to go shoot guns and throw hatchets, I guess, and <laughs> have fun together. I don't remember how he even decided to go to man camp, but I kind of just was like, yeah, you should go. It'd be good for you to get to know people. I just went because you know, I don't know. I don't know why I said yes, I did, and I went. So the first day of man camp, uh, I didn't sleep all the night before because, you know, it's man camp. I don't usually feel my migraines coming. They're normally just, uh, to describe it, it's like an ice pick in my head. Well, I felt one coming on, and I knew it was going to be a doozy. So I premedicated. So that's the day. I'm having a migraine. It's getting worse as the day goes on. It's getting bad. Like so bad, I'm gripping my chair with my hands, tears streaming down my eyes. I can't talk, I can't move, I can't really even hear, um, I can't see. And so the first encounter with God, I said, God, send an angel, please, so I can go take my rescue medication. <laughs> All of a sudden I felt a hand on my back. Could have been one of the guys, I don't know. But I, it gave me the time to go take my rescue medication. Now what that stuff does, it puts you out. And for some reason, it's supposed to put you out in like 10, 20 minutes. 
I'm not asleep yet. It's reached a pinnacle where it cannot get any worse. I'm out in the middle of basically nowhere. I'm gonna have to go to a hospital. I'm gonna have to ask Greg to take me to the hospital. So third service comes around, I'm, I've, I'm dedicated. I'm gonna ask Greg to drive me to the emergency room afterwards. And at the end of service, Joe says, hey guys, if you want prayers, come up to the top and there's pastors up here to pray for you. So I steady myself, cause I'm not really good at walking right now. And I walk up to Pastor Nate and I just say, I need to be healed. But then Nate looks at me, do you believe God will heal you? I was absolutely certain like healing was off the table. But in that moment, I knew God would heal me. In that moment, that second, that instant they were done praying for me, I was healed that second, that very second it was gone. Everything, life changed in an instant. I am so absolutely in, in awe. I went from 87 migraines in 90 days to 15, back up to 87 to zero for over 200 days now. I actually can pull out my can. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly how many days. Because when you have really bad migraines, you track this stuff. It has been exactly 260 days since I've had a migraine. He came in the house and I looked at him and immediately was like, shocked. There was no explanation that he had a pattern. He followed it to the T. I have been around him and known him long enough that this was not following any pattern I knew. It was different. He's so grateful to God about what God's done for us, and so am I. It, that shows through what he says every day in the prayers that we pray. It's very real. God is very real. He was real before, but he's very real and very involved in our lives, and it's very clear to us. My name is Carlos Barber, and I have been healed.